are you cleaning your beer glasses wrong? April 23rd is Beer Clean Glass Day. Let's take a look at how you can really get your glasses beer clean. Hi beer lovers, I'm Joanne the Beer School Lady and I teach you how to taste beer with confidence and to develop your knowledge of the world's favourite beverage. And yes, I am saying beer clean glass. I'm not saying clean beer glass incorrectly. Beer clean glass is a thing. Let's have a look at what that actually means today. So what is Beer Clean Glass Day and why is it important? Beer Clean Glass Day was set up by the Cicerone Certification Programme, which is a professional body that provides training and qualifications to beer professionals. This is an awareness day to tell people why having a beer clean glass is so important. When we're drinking, we also drink with our eyes. The presentation of that beautiful beer is really important to how our brain is gonna anticipate what we're drinking. It's the same with the presentation of food. So why don't we make sure that we present our beers as beautifully as we can? So how can you recognize if your beer glass isn't beer clean? Have you ever noticed in your glass when bubbles stick to the inside? That means that there's oil or dirt still trapped on the inside of the glass. Now when you're at home you may not worry about this, you might not end up with the prettiest picture of your beer but this is changing how your beer will taste. That carbonation is coming out of solution to stick to the oils inside the glass. That means it's not in the beer, you're not going to get the same experience that the brewer has tried to create for you because it's come out of solution and your beer won't be as carbonated as the brewer wanted it to be your beer will get flatter quicker and you won't have the same experience. It also just won't look as nice. When you're looking at a beer glass to see if it is beer clean when there is beer inside the glass, you need to check the top edge around the rim of your glass, check to see if there's any smear marks or if there is even lipstick around there. When there's beer inside, you're gonna see those bubbles stuck to the side of the glass if it's not beer clean and also the head's gonna disappear really quickly. Remember that some beer styles don't necessarily retain their head very well, but you should get a fairly nice head if you've got a beer clean glass. With beer in your glass, ways that you'll see that it's definitely beer clean, it will have really good head retention, there won't be any bubbles stuck to the side, and you may have seen pictures of those beautiful glasses where people have taken a sip and then there's a ring of foam left at each level of sip. That means you've got a perfectly beer clean glass. Without beer in the glass, there are ways to check that your glass is beer clean. You can do the sheeting method. So you fill your glass with water and then you tip it upside down and the water will drain out and it should drain out completely without leaving any rivulets or any, any droplets of water on the inside. That means that the beer, in, beer glass is completely clean on the inside and there's nothing there that's gonna break the surface tension when you put beer inside it. You can also wet the glass and sprinkle the inside with salt. Anywhere that the salt doesn't adhere to, you might see a void in the salt. That means that there's still oils and dirt on the inside of the glass. Of course, when you're doing this one, you have then got to clean the salt out of the glass afterwards. Now in the industry, when you're in a really good beer bar, they might have a dedicated glass washer for this or they may use the three sink method, which is a professional method of cleaning glassware. You'll have fresh running water, you will have um, a low suds cleaner to clean the glasses and beer glasses will be sanitized. But when you're at home, it's much more difficult. I've tried lots of different ways and I still struggle to sometimes get beer clean glassware. But here are a few ways that I have tried at home and let's see if any of these are helpful to you. So I've moved to the kitchen and we're going to try some different ways to get your glasses beer clean at home. I've tried lots of different things in the past. I've tried just rinsing them. When you've finished drinking your beer, you should rinse your glasses out anyway to keep them nice and clean. Um, I've tried just using water and giving them a bit of a scrub inside. I've found that the more heavily adjunct beers tend to leave some sugar residue behind so that doesn't work as well. Also, if you've got quite a thin walled glass, you do run the risk of when you're doing that, it can break the glass quite easily. Um, and I have done that and it's not great because you almost cut yourself. So I've stopped doing that. 
you're not supposed to use dishwashing liquid because it contains oils that can still coat the inside of the glass. Recently, the best thing that I found is a tiny little bit of fairy liquid with some hot water. Give it a scrub with a silicone brush like this, then rinse it really well with hot water and cold water. A problem with the area that I'm in is we've got quite hard water, so you do kind of end up with mineral deposits on the glass from the chalkiness of the water. So sometimes you're never really going to get a beer clean glass, but you can try. So we're going to try two new approaches today and we're going to see how it goes. So I found a recipe online where you use salt, baking soda and water to make a paste and put that inside the glass and then scrub it with the brush. That should clean the inside. We're going to try that. I've got a couple of glasses here that need a bit of cleaning. Um, and then we're going to try OxyClean, which is a low suds cleaner. Um, so let's try the baking soda technique first. So we're going to try baking soda and salt first. Um, so I need two teaspoons of baking soda. There we go. And this is going to make like a little abrasive mixture. One, two, and then we're going to try two tea, uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. And then it says four teaspoons of water. And then this should mix up to make a paste. Oh yeah, there we go, look. And then you're going to paint that on the inside of your glass. I'm going to try it on my teku here because this could probably do with a good thing. And um, we're going to pour it in. And then I've got a pastry brush, clean silicon pastry brush, and we're going to paste it up the side of the glass. Like this. It doesn't seem to be sticking very well. Unlike the video that I watched, I'll be able to do it. Let's see. And then you're going to scrub it with a silicone brush. No extra water, just what's in there. Right, so given that good clean, I'm going to rinse it through now. Cleaning glasses does take a lot of water, so if you are concerned about the amount of water you're using to clean your glasses, put them in the dishwasher, but do it after you clean the dishwasher and not with other stuff because the grease and stuff from that can get into your glassware. Right, we're going to try a sheeting test to see if that works. Right, turn it down. The water should all clear out straight without leaving any rivulets or drops, let's see. Uh, now I can still see quite a bit of droplets and stuff in there, so not very impressed with that technique. So let's try instead OxyClean. So I picked this up off of Amazon. I've seen that this is quite a good low suds cleaner for glassware. I'm going to give it a go. I need to fill up this sink with water. Put a scoop of this in and then we're gonna put our glassware in and see if it works. And if this works, I'm gonna clean like all my glasses because I will have a sink full of water. The water also needs to be kind of hand touched warm. Let's give that a go. I'm gonna use about half a scoop, I reckon. Because this isn't a very much. I'm just making sure that all the powder is well dissolved in here. Try not to get too many suds. All right, we're going to try putting this glassware in here. Fill it up. Just going to let them soak a bit. Just give them a little clean with a scrub brush.
Now we're ready. Pretty good sheeting, I think, actually. I just want to rinse. Still not sure about this one. Our best way to check is we're going to fill it with beer. Now, when you are happy with the cleanliness of your beer glass, you then want to leave it to air dry. I use a rubber mat like this. It's got ridges in it. And then I leave it on the side. Then it allows airflow to get into the glass and dry off. So leave those to dry. Let's see if this is, in fact, beer clean. Beer. Pretty clear, not seeing any bubbles sticking to the side. Got a nice little head on there. This beer's been open a little bit because I was using it for filming. I think that's beer clean. So out of these methods, none of them really gave me a perfectly beer clean glass. Um, the baking soda and salt method still left some rivulets inside when I did a sheeting test and the OxyClean was probably the best for making it feel really clean. But I feel like some of the glasses still had a little bit of residue inside even after I had rinsed them. Um, I think I might continue to do kind of a combination of rinsing the glasses with water and using a tiny little bit of fairy liquid. I know that this leaves a little bit of oil inside the glass still, but I found that for me, for the ease of my lifestyle and washing up my glasses, that's the best way to do it. Hand washing is always the way to go, I think. I know this uses up a lot of water, but I prefer that for keeping my glasses nice and clean and keeping them in good condition. What ways do you clean your beer glasses at home? Let me know in the comments. Add any extra tips that you've got for people if you found the perfect way to clean your beer glasses to beer clean standards. And if any of these tips have helped you to think about how you're gonna clean your beer glassware, Hit the like button to let me know and if you are thinking about what kinds of beer glass where you might need for your beer journey that's a rabbit hole that you need to be careful going down once you start buying all the different beer glasses they're going to end up all over the house it is addictive but if you would like some tips on how to start your beer glass collection check out the video that is on your screen now and give love beer learning a subscribe so you can see all of our next episodes